So for $50, I needed it to be pristine, okay? But it's all good. We won't let them slide, okay? Because we're not here for the bottle. We're here for the juice. Hey loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Chanel and this is the Mixed Edition. If you enjoy all things fragrance, beauty, and lifestyle, then this is your channel. Don't forget to subscribe and join the mix. Let's jump right into it guys. In today's episode, we are going to be reviewing Yara Candy Balatafa. Now, I believe this is the sixth installment in the Yara collection by Latafa. I'm going to insert like a picture somewhere so you can see like the full collection. So this is their latest and greatest Yara candy. And if you haven't heard about it already, I'm about to give you the breakdown. Okay, it's been making its way through the internet streets and I'm sure it's going to go viral if it's not already viral. But let me give you my two cents. If you're still on the fence about purchasing this, this review will give you enough detail on whether or not you want to spend your money or if it's worth getting your nose on. So guys, if you are ready for the details, if you are ready for the tea, you ready to kiki it up with me, then let's go. So Latafa dropped this this month, August 2024. And they did it big with this release, okay? They had PR being sent out to influencers. They had pop-up shops and just all the candy and the marketing that they put into um, this new release. I'm about to let y'all know if I think it's worth it or not, okay? So let's start with the price. The price? was a little bit up there okay i guess they had to pay for the marketing somehow or the free pr somehow i don't know but all their other fragrances in this yara collection line has never been that high okay i pay 50 dollars, and i'm hearing that it may drop after a certain amount of time. So for those of you who can't wait, you're probably going to have to dish out that $50 like I did. But I'm here to give you more details in the tea so we can see if it's worth the wait or not. I did purchase this off of Amazon, so I got it like super quick. And when I got it, guys, I'm going to insert a little clip or maybe you can go over to my shorts. I did a little unboxing. The box is too big to house the perfume. I got a couple scratches on the bottle and everything like that because they're not packing it tightly enough to where the product doesn't move around in the box. So I was a little upset about that, but I think after a little bit of polishing, it kind of, you know, is looking a little bit better now. So here's what the bottle looks like hopefully my lighting will focus for me so guys here is what the bottle looks like that hot pink against that gold baby very nice very cute and hopefully you can no longer see the scratches on mine but when it came it was all scratched and banged up from uh the shipping it with the hot pink hot girl summer yes this definitely matches the vibe let's get into the notes guys for yara candy so the top notes for yara candy are black currant green tangerine and then we have mid notes of strawberry fizz candy gardenia and then we have base notes of vanilla, amber, sandalwood, and musk. Now guys, I'm gonna get this a little spray so I can refresh myself. Refresh, refresh. Let's see what's going on. Get it on here good. Mm. <laughs> Y'all, I'm a heavy sprayer, so never mind me. Okay. Let's get into my thoughts about this fragrance. When it first opens up, guys, 
you are immediately hit with that black current and that green tangerine in the top notes. It is very citrusy, very fruity, very juicy. Those top notes of black currant and green tangerine were so strong that it was hard for me to make out or smell any of the other notes listed um, for this perfume. And it was kind of driving me a little bit crazy. But the more I sprayed it, I quickly fell in love with it. And I'm going to tell you why. The magic happens on the dry down, okay? That green tangerine and that black currant, it stays throughout the fragrance, but it takes start taking a back seat to some of the other notes, like the vanilla, the musk, the uh, strawberry fizz. I don't really pick up on... Mm, maybe I do pick up on the gardenia. I was going to say, I don't really pick up on the gardenia, but like if I'm doing like whiffs and wafts of it, I do kind of smell that a little bit. But I was so scared because that black currant was so strong. You literally have to wait about a half an hour for those top notes to kind of subside and for those mid and base notes to really come alive in this fragrance. Now, I'm not sure if that's everybody's experience, but that's my experience. So about 20 to 35 minutes, I am like in love, okay, with the candy-like smell of Yara Candy. So this fragrance does indeed remind me and smell like candy, okay? It's like that strawberry gummy candy with the sugar powder or the sour, like the sour little sprinkles on it. It's like if you were to open up a bag and smell the candy in that bag, this is what it is reminiscent of. So I definitely get the vibe, definitely get the candy vibe. I love it. Very sweet, sugary, powderiness, all the goodness. The powderiness kind of reminds me of the OG Yara and Yara 2s. Like I feel like they all have that similarity or commonality of just having that powderiness. But I do feel like Yard Candy stands out on its own and it's a bit different from the rest of the Yards. Now guys, next up, we're going to talk about longevity and the projection. I get moderate projection and moderate longevity. They say that the Middle Eastern houses, that you have to let them sit, they have to maturate in order to kind of get to their full potential. So obviously this is a brand new release. So we would have to kind of revisit this back in a few months, but on first impressions and kind of me wearing it over the last couple of days, I would say longevity and projection are both moderate. Now, longevity, I'm a heavy sprayer. I know you guys saw me spray earlier. I'm supposed to be just spraying to just get a whiff of it, but you know, I'm a heavy sprayer. So if you're a heavy sprayer like me, you'll be able to get your scent bubble and kind of make this last. But I would say average sprayer, this is probably just going to be moderate, moderate performance. Um, I would say three to four hours until it starts to come into a skin scent and projection. Others can smell you but I feel like you gotta spray heavy. Like if you're trying to get that reaction, like if you're trying to, you know what I'm saying, turn the little heads, who that, who that, you probably gonna need to spray this heavy. Like the first time I wore it, and this is when I first opened the bottle, first spraying it, okay? So I didn't have a chance to kind of aerate at that point. I sprayed probably like 30 sprays on me. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, to get it to where I wanted to get it as far as like projection and longevity, I sprayed like 30 sprays on me. But the more I've been wearing it, the less I've had to spray it. So it is having a chance to aerate, oxidize, and kind of like, you know, bond some more of the molecules in the performance in the performance of this fragrance. So, and if I wanted to go out and like really, you know, turn some heads, I would probably 
continue to spray my normal amount of sprays, which is like 15 to 20 kind of sprays. Overall, guys, Yara Candy is definitely cute, playful, young, youthful. It's not like teenage young, but it is youthful. Um, it's fun, it's flirty. It's going to pair well with a ton of fragrances, okay? And we're going to get into that. I'm trying not to make this video too long, but I wanted to make sure I gave you guys all the details. I do enjoy Yara Candy. I do like it. Is it groundbreaking? No, but is it a good vibe? And is it a crowd-pleasing scent? I would say yes. So at $50, if you can wait for the price to go down, definitely do that. But if you had to jump out there and get do the fifty dollars, would I wait? Would I wait if I had to do it all over again? If I wasn't a perfume snob, yeah, I could wait. But I would say if you got it, go ahead and get it. If you got it, get it. That's all I'm gonna say. Like, you know, we only live once and. It's a fun little flirty fragrance for the end of summer. So if you just want to enjoy that, then go ahead and just jump out there and get it. But if you can wait, baby, you can wait, especially if you already have Kaoli Vanilla Candy Rock Sugar. If you already have this fragrance, you, you, you can wait. You can wait until that price drops. So since I just mentioned Kaoli Vanilla Rock Candy Sugar, this does they're too different okay <laughs> don't come for me in the comments they are both different but that candied like sweetness yeah they can match each other vibes and they do pair well together k ali is stronger right now and again like i said this may need to maturate some more so we can see the full potential but right now if you were to pair these together Kaoli would kind of eat up Yara Candy. You will still be able to smell Yara Candy, but you won't be smelling this like predominantly. But these pair so well together, guys. And for my Bath and Body Work girlies, and I was nervous, guys, at first. I wasn't going to jump out there and purchase Yara Candy just yet because I thought it was going to be similar to, um, Things that I already have in my collection, like the Kaoli Vanilla Candy Rock Sugar. Oh, that's a long lane. And some of my Bath & Body Work uh, Fine Fragrance Mist, like Strawberry Soda. Now, for my Bath & Body Works girlies, if you have Strawberry Soda, these are definitely totally different, but the notes complement each other. This combination is fire okay the notes in this strawberry soda fragrance fine mist from bath and body works are fresh strawberries bubbly seltzer and crushed ice now that is that strawberry fizz if you're trying to get more of that strawberry fizz note that is in the mid of your candy if you have strawberry soda it's definitely going to pull out that strawberry note way more for you so guys, those are my two combos. And if you also are a Bath & Body Works girly and if you have Cotton Candy Clouds, of course this, this pairs well together. But if you got strawberry soda, that's the win right there. That's the win right there. Now I do wanna address some people saying that they get watermelon from this scent. I concur. I was getting a bit of watermelon, but I really couldn't put my finger on it until my guy, he hugged me and I asked him what I smell like. And he said, watermelon. And I was like, yeah, it does smell melony. Yeah, I think that gumminess, like the, the juiciness, it, it, it's coming off as like watermelon. Um, but they don't list watermelon in the notes, but if you look at the PR picture, and I'm going to insert it. It does have like melon in it. So maybe that's what people are getting. I do kind of see where they're, where they're coming from with it. But like I said, as this maturates, you're going to be getting that powderiness, that vanilla, that sandalwood, that musk. 
and probably probably a little bit of that strawberry and the black currant. Now, guys, those were the combos that you can try, okay? Drop down in the comments. Let me know if you try them. Let me know how you feel about the fragrance. Um, I am going to do a bit of a rank in comparison just so if you have the other Yara's, you kind of know what to expect for Yara candy. Guys, so as you saw earlier and a few times in this video, I do have the OG Yara. I have the Yara 2's. I have Yara Moy. And now I have Yara candy. So guys, yes, Yara collection is definitely stacking up over here. If I had to rank these, okay, if I had to kind of give you guys, you know, like if you need another Yara in your collection, let me, let me break it down just a little bit for you and then we gonna wrap this video up. Now, coming in at number one, if I had to rank them, it's going to be the OG Yara. I don't think anything is really like <laughs> stood up to this in the yard collection just yet. This strawberry, fruity, sweetie, powderiness, sweetie. <laughs> this fruity, sweet, powdery fragrance. This is super girly. I mean, this is like soft, pink, girly, just Oh my God, I don't know. I can't say enough about the OG Yara. I feel like this has massive projection. It's not beast mode, but if you spray it enough, baby, you will be smelling like strawberry powder through these streets, okay? It's an easy reach and you can really get this thing to perform and project. So this is my number one in the Yara collection. This will be the OG Yara. The number two spot, I'm gonna have to give it to Yara Candy. Now, Yara Candy, even though it shares kind of that sweet powderiness from the OG Yara, it definitely gives you more of the fruitiness with the black currant and the green tangerine. Um, so I would say that this is different enough to have both. Um, that strawberry fizz gives it more candy versus sweet powdery. So you're getting more fruity, sweet powdery versus just sweet powdery. So yes, they are definitely different enough to have both in your collection. And I would rank this at number two because I just feel like it is flirty. It's sweet and it's just a crowd pleaser. Like who don't want to smell like some strawberry candy? Next one, I'm going to give it to in the collection. This one is, you know, they really could be both at number three, but I would give Yara Tooth in the number three spot. I feel like this is a unique spin on mango. Like to have that mango. <sighs> what are the notes in this? Like, I think it's, I think I could smell gardenia and jasmine or something like that. Just to have that mango mixed with that floral, just the fruity floral vibes. I think that's the consensus amongst the yard collection is fruity floral vibes. That mango, to have it done like this is so juicy and it's not cloying, it's not sharp, it's not like citrusy, it's, it's the sweetness. Like if I just squeeze the mango and all that juice came out, like that's what's in here. And you kind of get that powderiness and a little bit of that floral note. It's definitely a good time. I do like this one a lot. Um, the reason why it's coming in at number three, because I feel like the other two, they project better. Like I would have to like spray the heck out of this fragrance to get it to perform the way that I want it to perform. Like I want other people to like smell me and really notice kind of what I have on. So I would have to really, really spray this. I feel like this one does naturally sit closer to the skin. So that's why this one is coming in at number three, but it's still so good. So the last one, but last don't mean that it's, it's trash because this is good, baby. Yara Moy. I will put that at number four. In 
And the reason why it's coming in at number four is because I don't think this is everybody's vibe. So like I have to be in a certain kind of mood to wear this fragrance. I feel like this fragrance is um, your skin, but better. But this is like, I've let this sit for months and this fragrance has become like a beast mode fragrance. And because of that, it's like, because I know it's not everybody's vibe and I like be, like to be a little bit more strategic on when I pull for this, it comes in at number four only just because it's not, you know, an extremely easy reach. Like I have to think about it. Moy is not for everybody. This is very floral, sharp floral and patchouli. And if you don't like patchouli, you do not even need to step close to this fragrance, okay? This is patchouli forward, okay? So I would say just because of that and because of how some people feel about patchouli that you should not blind buy this. I mean, it's cheap enough to where you can. It's, let me not say cheap. It's affordable enough to where you can blind buy it if you are on the fence. But I'm letting you know, if you don't like patchouli, that is one of the primary notes that you will be smelling in your Amoy. And the longer I've let this sit, the more the patchouli has come out. I particularly love patchouli, so it's not a problem for me. But because I know others may be sensitive to it, it's not as easy as a reach for me. So I will put this at number four. Guys, I hope you enjoyed my review of the new Yara Candy by Latafa. Drop down in the comments. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know how you rank it up against all the other Yaras in the collection. I am enjoying this. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, and I'll see you next time.